Hello, this is Honey Pikachu with some Falcon Dog rolling. Sorry for my voice or anything wrong. I haven't done a video in months. We're going to start out with Ventus Trucks, which are from Armored Alliance. Just picked this up the other day. I really don't like the look, but it is a cool Bakugan to pick up. I wouldn't, I'd recommend probably some others. So here we go. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Let's see, most of it, part of it I don't like is just how it looks. Because Ventus symbols on this side, but not on this. I'd rather have this on the other side. It's got his little arms and feet right down here. I did not get the Baku gear with it. I chose not to. Well, not that I chose. I just couldn't find it. So this is Ventus Trox Ultra from Armored Alliance. I'm going to reset the Baku course and roll another. Alright, Baku course reset. Let's see. Let's do... Chaos Garbanite Ultra from Battle Planet. It is a little customized with some Sharpie on little indents. So here we go. Ready? In three, two, one, brawl. You're doing really bad today with the brawls. I forgot to mention the Trox is 500 B power. Now Garganoid is. 400 B power. But I did a lot of customizing during the early months of having them. But I like how it turned out. So let's move on to the next block we want. I have not much to say about Garganoid. Let's do Dragonoid Ult the Chaos Dragonoid Ultra from Battle Planet. I've already reset the high matrix. And three, two, one, brawl. Some Bakugan of stronger magnets. He's got a base of 500 B power. This specific one, I believe that just normal Dragon Pyrus Dragonite Ultra from um, Battle Planet is also 500 B power. Just checking behind me, some of the cards are. But not much to say about Dragonoid. Probably one of my favorite Bakugan. I will, and I know exactly which one I'm actually going to roll next. So this was Chaos Dragonoid Ultra from Battle Planet. I will be rolling another Battle Planet Bakugan, Pyrus Hyper Dragonoid Ultra. I don't like some of the placement. I will explain in a moment after I've opened it. So let's roll. Let's make sure the hide matrix is all set. And three, two, one, brawl. Moved a couple of them actually. My main issue with Hyper Dragonoid is the wing here. Because there is a screw right here that damages the Bakugan. I really haven't liked it. It's on every Hyper Dragonoid. I know one of my friends has Darkest Dra Hyper Dragonoid, and I've told him it will his Bakugan will be ruined if he starts opening the top wings. I have gotten two of this Bakugan because of that issue. This one I do not open the wing much. It is this wing on this side that has the problem. See, this side... This is how it's supposed to look with the two wings separated. But like, you can't do that on this side. This side doesn't get ruined as bad. It will last longer. But this was Hyper Dragonite Ultra from Battle Planet. Not much to say. I left that. Let's roll another Armored Alliance Bakugan. I know. Oops. Oh, I dropped it and opened it. Oh no. I will be rolling Pyrus Gilator Ultra from Armored Alliance. Once I get it reclosed. 
Papyrus Gillator Ultra. Paint has been fading. I've had it since the beginning of April 2020. I haven't been able to pick up another case since COVID-19 started. It has been a strain on my Bakugan collection because I am not making money now. I'm not making getting money, so I cannot get more cases. I have overrun my case. I bought once I bought Ventus Dr Trox here. Once I picked this up, I could definitely not fit anymore. Because normally, if I go out with friends, I will hold on to four Bakugan, and I will go through them to today as well. But yeah, after picking this up, no more case. I have it exceeds that cannot fit in my case set. But here we go with Pyrus Trox or Pyrus Gillator Ultra from Armor Alliance. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh, that was such a. It was okay. This is Pyrus Gilator. He, did, as of right now, his gear does not his Baku gear does not come in Pyrus, which is a real nuisance. But this is one of my four partner Baku that I would always carry with me. Pyre, see the little the small Baku gear. My friends call one of my friends calls it the Baku gear cores, like Pyro Cannon, Magma Blaster. Those go or the Pyro Cannons. The smaller ones from Dragonoid go here and here. And then, I have not found a gear that looks decent on Gilator yet. I've tr looked at Scorching Swords, the Twilight Axes, his own gear in Ventus. I have not found a gear that I enjoy to put on him, including the Pyro, the Magma Blaster. But that was Pyrus Gilator Ultra from Armored Alliance. I've got three Baku on now. They're all Pyrus. Mm. Pyrus, or Diamond Cindius Ultra. Paint has been fading. I picked this up back in 20, August of 2019. Early August, so I found, I've seen two of this pack, the pack for this. Within a month, I only picked up one. But here is Pyre, here is Diamond Cindius Ultra from Armored Up, from Battle Planet. Three, two, one, bro. I'm trying to reset the behind matrix after I roll. But... Still, you can still see that it has 200 B power. Uh, Gilator is 400. Hyper Dragonoid is 500. But yeah, this is Cindius Ultra, for Diamond Cindius Ultra. Sorry, from Armored Alliance from Battle Planet. Two different lines, and it bugs me a lot. I've been a Bakugan fan for a long time. I'm gonna try and shift my content to more Bakugan and Minecraft and gaming. My game, most of it won't be good quality yet. I don't have the proper equipment currently. That's what I'm using. Not the best for equipment. But here next will be Pyrus Kilion Ultra from Battle Planet. His diamond did not get released to my knowledge. They replaced instead his his diamond, the diamond, the wave that would have his diamond with a re a re release of wave so one and two, which was it, which made me capable of picking up another Darkest Nilius Ultra. But let's roll some, let's roll the Pyrus Killion. Ready? Three, two, one, brawl. That was really good for opening. This is Pyrus Killion. His base P power is 300. But his card has underdog, where with its diamond, with his diamond. I don't know if these little top pieces right here, like not these, but the other ones. I don't know if they're stay, supposed to stay open or closed. I normally open them, but I enjoy. Kilion is one of my four partner Bakugan. Same with Gildor and Dragonoid, and Cindius. Now on to the last of the four partner of my four partners. The Armored Alliance Dragonoid Ultra. I have picked up him in Ventus and in Aquos already. I know someone who's picked up the Orlis one, and it looks beautiful with the chrome paint. Orlis Dragonoid chrome paint looks amazing. I would love to see it on maybe some diamond bo uh, chrome paint on di better chrome paint on diamonds, and maybe some I don't know Orlis. I want to see more. I want to see more chrome paint on Orlis and Diamond Bakugan. 
because the chrome paint on the diamonds aren't really good. But let's get into rolling Pirates Dragon Elite Ultra. Oops. From Armor Alliance. Don't mind me being an idiot. Because I decided to make this video, a couple videos, on a whim and have some fun. But let's roll Pyrus Dragonite Ultra from Armor Alliance. 3, 2, 1, Brawl! Amazing standing. I actually like it. I would do slow motion, but input other videos with slow motion, but I cannot. So let's open them up. I may have... I normally pull up the dragon. My Pyrus one like this. I don't think there's, there's supposed to be this way, but I fold them out and then fold them back over a little bit. I have had, this was the first Bakugan I picked up from Armored Alliance. His base B power, strongest Bakugan I have seen so far at 900 B. Let's see if I can, there we go. 900 B power though, it is one of the strongest Bakugan from Armored Alliance. Actually, I, it is. I lied. It is the strongest Bakugan I've seen so far, up until Fusion Force, and uh, Shields of Destroy, I think the next set is. I have heard. I do not quote me on that. I am not sure on the last set for Armored Alliance. But this is Dragonite Ultra from Armored Alliance. I will... How many have I done? Eight. I will be doing couple more, probably two more Bakugan for this video. I'll try and get through ten. I'll try and do some cores now. So let's see. Let's do Diamond Dragonoid Core from Battle Planet. I only found this when they re-released Waves 1 and 2. I am missing only two Dragonoid Ultras, or Dragonoid Cores from Boost. Whoa, my stand is a little, a little crazy. I'm only missing two Core Dragonoids from Armored Alliance, or Battle Planet. I have not picked up any Dragonoid cores from Armored Alliance, but I love the look of this thing in its fall form. It is smoother than the others, like Darkest and Oralist Dragonoid core. I have, I picked them up when they first came out back, well, when I found out about it back in February of 2019. But let's get to rolling. Diamond Dragonoid core, one of my favorite Bakugan. Whoa, crap. Let's try and not mess up my setup. All right, ready? Let's find the arrow. Three, two, one, brawl! Oh no, there we go. Love how smooth it rolls sometimes, but with the lighting, it looks phenomenal. Just messing around a little bit. But look, this is probably one of my favorite Bakugan around right now. It looks so polished. I have not picked up any other Dragonoid Diamonds. They are hard to find. Diamonds are hard to find now. Especially since COVID-19 started. I haven't been able to... I've only picked up maybe four or five. And normally I'd pick up maybe one to five. One to six a month. And past three, I probably... I haven't picked much up. Because I now I need to look for a case. Which I'm probably going to shop online. But this was... And Diamond Dragonoid... Or Dragonoid Core is a base of 200 B power. So with... Fun trick with this, Bakugan is the pack is a single pack. It does not come with his character card. It only comes with the Diamond Dragonoid Core action card, which I have not found a use for it in a deck. I am looking for people to play with in my area, but I have my friends for right now. We have not played games much since COVID-19. I cannot stress enough, it is so hard to do stuff now with COVID. But this is... But let's get back to the Baku. This was Diamond Dragonite Core from Armored Alliance. I might do more than 10. Because we're only at about 14 minutes in. Let's do F Darkest Phaedrus Core from Battle Planet. I like the look of this. Normal with the deck, I want to use... If I'm using Core Bakugan, I would shoot, which I prefer to use because they stand so much better. In my opinion, I prefer to use Bakugan that shoot up forward because it might. I feel like it has a chance to knock the Bakugan, the opposing Bakugan, back if they if you land before them. As you see what I mean. If I could have had another person with me doing this today, I would. But let's roll Darkest Phaedrus oh, Core from Battle Planet. Let's find the arrow. 
I always have trouble. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh no, it didn't open fully. It's pretty bad. Let's redo that. Three, two, one, brawl. See, when it shoots out, I feel it would shoot out forward and make it so that ba some Bakugan don't land. I really like Bakugan that shoot forward. Phaedrus' B power is a base of 300 in this form. And this is probably one of my more favorite darkest Bakugan besides, I think, I don't know, I don't think I have any native Bakugan favorites. For darkest, I think Phaedrus is the only one. I'd have to look through my collection again. But this was darkest Phaedrus. I do not know damage ratings off the top of my head for most of my Bakugan. I will do a separate video to and release it the same day as this one with the the cards for the Bakugan I rolled and which Bakugan and go through some of the Baku cores I have in another separate video because I feel like that would take forever. But this was Darkest Phaedrus core from Battle Planet. Let's see, I've done ten, I believe. Counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. do five more these five if you can tell what they are already great but these are the next five I'm gonna do and that will be the end of the video so let's start out with chaos Cubo core from battle planet a little bit of the design of the sharpie I kind of wish I didn't but it looks okay but let's get to rolling chaos Cubo. most people don't like it Where's this arrow? Three, two, one, brawl. Oh no, it didn't stand. Three, two, one, brawl. Chaos Cubo, base B power of 300. He's got his little arms here that move up and down. Yeah, Ooh. just having a little fun. Haven't had much videos to post recently. Because I haven't had any ideas. Uh, starting today is hmm. so starting next week. The this weekend because today is Thursday. So on Saturday, I will be posting a video of me playing some Sword Art Online games on the PS4 or the Switch. I have not decided. I have a Cell World versus. A Cell World vs. Sword Art Online. A Seo Sword Art Online ho Re Hollow Fragment, which is the first one. Sword Art Online Moss Song. Fatal Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet and Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. I have all five that were really that are out as of June end of June. I know there's Alice Station Lyceris. Correct me and if I'm wrong on the pronunciation, but that comes out I believe July 10th. But let's get on to the next Bakugan. Pyrus Trox Core from Armored Alliance looks. I have no words to describe how bad I hate, how much I hate Trox Cores. I'll be rolling another Trox Core eventually, but I hate the Trox Cores because they look like garbage. My friend says they're rats. They're not dinosaurs. But Core Bakugan from Armored Alliance, if no one knew, if you haven't noticed, can hold three core Baku gear. One, two, three. I've seen Pegatrix, and my friend, one of my friends also has picked up Darkest How uh, Hydrasol core. But let's get to rolling Pyrus Trox from Bat Armor Alliance. Where's this? Three, two, one, brawl. Oh no. There we go. He's got a base B power of 100. If I remember correct, I just gotta pull out his little arms. See, he's got a base B power of 100, and I do know his damage rating is one of the highest of base Bakugan. It's at 10, but I do not like Trox scores much. This looks worse than the original, and my friends agree on that. He is fatter 
He's a fatter Bakugan than he originally was. But this was Pyrus Trox. I'm not going to stay in detail on this one. Let's do... Actually, you guys have seen my Oralis Trena. I, when I picked the day I picked it up, I did a video, so I will actually choose a different Bakugan than Trena. Let me put him up in the case behind me. And let's do Diamond Gorthion Ultra. Pick this up, I don't remember when, actually. I think Black Friday of 2019. It was fun because I saw a friend at working and someone bought this for me. Right at that time, I did not have money. I had spent money on the money at the time. But well, not getting too much more. This is Diamond Gorthion. Let's get to rolling. Where is it? Let's fix the high matrix quick. Three, two, one, brawl. There we go. Picked up more than one core. But I'm not going to go into it, of course. Gor Diamond Gorthion Ultra from Battle Planet. Has a BSB power of 600, if you can see. I'm trying to hold still. But I like Gorthion, but his magnet's on his butt. So it's not that fun. It's more annoying. I haven't gotten some of my Bakugan to flip over and jump so they so they stand on their feet. I'm just trying to fix Gorthion. Like, kind of like this. Oops. But I like the look of Gorthion Ultra. It looks cool. Or it looks okay. It just... I feel like they could have done a little bit better. I'm just nitpicking here, but... I like a lot of the Bakugan they release. That's been Master Release... Because it's a lot more fun than originals. So that was Gorthy Ultra. Oh no! My Hydra is court. Ah, I'll, I'll do this one next, I guess. Let's go to the other one. This is Darkest Hydra Soul Core from Armored Alliance. Pick this up with Ventus, Dragonite Ultra, and Pyrus Trox Core. It's got one, two, three right there. Now let's get to rolling, because I'm not going to stay too much more on these. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh, open immediately. Beast B power of 400, if you can see right there. Arms flip, arms sway out, swish out. So I feel like that's probably, I feel like this Bakugan is more in the Phaedrus set where, or Phaedrus and Fangs on lines where it will shoot out because the, mag the magnet may be right here, but say I'm rolling backwards, the butt shoots out, or the hands flip out, and I might be able to move a Bakugan away from a core. These are all my Baku cores, though, right now. I have set I took me 45 minutes to set this up, and I've already ruined it. I don't like this tr core Hydrus as much as I like the original, because it flips out more, and the magnet's on the back and not the front. And it picking again. Let's move on to the last Bakugan I will be going over rolling today. It will be Aquos Kloptor Core. I don't have Ultra yet. I'm trying to pick up as many as I can when I go out Bakugan hunting with friends. I think it's... Oh, the arrow is right there. Alright, let's get to rolling. Three, two, one, brawl. A phenomenal standing on Core Bakugan. This is his base B power. Where'd it go? Oh, above his eye. 400 B power. And I like this Bakugan. If I can roll, get to roll it backwards, I can get the tail to sh like this to shoot out, and or even the sides to flip out or the front. There is multiple ways to use this, like a like Phaedrus, like shooting him out. But this is the last Bakugan I will be reviewing today. Or right, this is the last Bakugan I was rolling today. So I hope you guys I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in another video at some point. Have a good day. I appreciate whoever watches. Goodbye.